Hello again, my name is Eric Wright. Today I have a tutorial for you on Google search for images. This is a tutorial for complete beginners, so please be patient with me. I know many of you already know how to search Google, how to search very complex um, stuff, keywords and whatnot on Google and find what you want. However, still, every day, there is somebody who would like to know um, things that he or she has never done before. Um, somebody buys a computer for the first time, and there are many of us who just bought a computer a few days ago, and we opened the computer, and everything seems to be fine, except for the fact that we don't know how to search, or we don't know how to use it. And it might be a little bit funny for the, the rest of us who know already how to use a computer and how to uh, surf the internet. But for those who are new to this thing, everything might not be as clear or as obvious. In my last uh, tutorial, the previous tutorial, I talked about how to search the internet using Google, Google website. In this tutorial, uh, I would like to use Google search, Google search engine, in order to search for images. The process is pretty straightforward, very similar to what we, what we did when we used Google.com to search for something. Very similar to that, indeed. The only difference is that this time, we would like to focus on images, searching images. The internet contains thousands and thousands of images, millions of images, I would say. And if you don't know how to search them, you can't really benefit from this treasure trove of, of images on the internet. The good news is Google search engine has a specific section called Google Images that helps you find what you're looking for. I assume a few things, like in my previous tutorial. I assume that you have a computer, have access to a computer. I also assume that you have access to either a web browser such as Internet Explorer or Opera or Google Chrome or Firefox. In my tutorial, I'm using Firefox, the latest version of Firefox. Don't worry about the very specifics or icons and whatnot. Your browser might look a little bit different from mine. That's all right. What is more important is the principles that should be applicable to everyone and on any computer. I also assume that you know a few things about the computer. For example, what your desktop is, what your mouse is, what a keyboard is. How you use a keyboard and a mouse and very basic things such as these. How to um, navigate your computer. I mean, turn it on, turn it off, start a program such as Firefox. I assume that you know already these things. These should be pretty simple. However, if I see any interest, I would create those very simple tutorials as well how to use your uh, mouse, how to use your keyboard. We'll see. All right, let's get to work. As you can see, I have already opened, opened up or started my Firefox. The window you can see in front of you with the big colorful Google logo in the, in the middle. This window is called Firefox, the program. And my home page is google.com so each time I open my Firefox it automatically goes to google.com you might have something else instead your home page might be Yahoo might be Bing might be something else or the default home page for Firefox however 
it doesn't really matter what your homepage is as long as you know how to go to google.com in case you forgot here is how we do it let's say we start our browser and there is nothing in it it's completely empty in this case in order to visit google.com you have many many choices the simplest choice the simplest way to go to Google is to click on the address bar which is here and type google.com and press enter you also can uh, click on this little arrow once and it does the job it's supposed to do the job once you're in uh, google.com you can very easily navigate to the, the, the section of the search engine that is dedicated to searching for images. This link up here is what I'm talking about. If you bring your mouse over the link and click on it, now we are directed to the page where you can search specifically for images this is Google image Google images search engine let us start with searching for roses I typed the term the word in the search box and press enter and as soon as I press enter I can see the results of my search. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go back one step. This is where I started from, Google Images. And I would like to search for something. I click on this search box. This is called search box. Click on that. Once the cursor the blinking little line, vertical line, appears in there, I can start typing what I'm looking for, the image I'm looking for. In this case, I'm looking for images of heart. I type in the term, press enter, or I also can click on this icon, which means it started the search. As you can see, as soon as I press that icon I can see the results of my search this is the first step of searching for anything as, as an image once more let's say I started my Firefox I am NOT in a Google page on, a, on any Google related page I would like to go to Google in order to do that I click on the address bar and as you can see the cursor is blinking there the little vertical line is blinking there it means that if I type anything it will appear in that area I type google.com and, um, and press enter now I'm on google.com then I bring my mouse over this link which says images I click on that now I'm on Google images as you can see the cursor is already placed where the search box is inside the search box so if I start typing my uh, letters will appear inside this search box I'm searching for hmm, dreams images for dreams well, that's a funny thing to search for as, a, as an image because dreams are not objects. It's an abstract thing. But still, I get results. And I can browse down. I can scroll down this very long list of images and look at the images that might interest me. The next thing you might want to do is 
you might want to have a closer look at the image that you're interested in. I'm interested in this image at this moment. I would like to see the larger image. I click on that. I bring my mouse over the image. I click on it once. And Google has this very neat feature of bringing a preview of the image, a larger preview of the image, uh, bringing it up. Now I can see the image with more details. From this point on, there are different paths I can take in order to get the full resolution image. Because this image that I can see here is a preview. The original image might be larger than this or it might be the same size but there is always a possibility that the original image might be larger than this preview and with more resolution better quality however i don't necessarily know it before i see the original the, the main image how can i see the main image how can i access the main image there are different ways to do it the easiest way to do it is to bring my mouse over this icon, this button which says view image. As soon as I bring my mouse over it, my mouse changes from an arrow into a hand. Now I can right click on this and the menu, the context menu appears. In the context menu, this little menu that appeared here as you can see, this little menu is called context menu it changes according to what my mouse is over um, if my mouse is over an image this context menu might be different if my mouse is over uh, I don't know my desktop this context menu would look different at this moment the context menu contains the things that you can see in this image there are different items in the context menu. The one that I'm interested in is the first one. The first item in the list reads open link in new tab. If I move my mouse and go over this item, I can click on it now. I can select it. And I can click on it. As soon as I click on it, the image is opened in a background tab over here as you can see that is a background tab that was just opened and the image is loaded in that page that tab I will I will talk about those tabs and whatnot later but at this moment just bear with with me let us um, move ahead and and um, grab these things first and then if you have questions if I find 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 out that, that more people are interested in knowing a little bit more about what things are called in Firefox. I will I would create another tutorial to, to explain Firefox um, terminology. Anyway, this is this is what we call tab, which is a extra page that was opened on the background in the background, and then in that tab, that original image is loaded. As soon as I click on it. As I did, the tab would bring this loaded image to the front. The other, the other tab with other content went in the back, to the back. As you can see, if I click on this tab, this is the tab where I left. This is the tab in which I searched for my images. This is the new tab I opened. These are two separate tasks, two separate entities, two separate lives as if they are completely isolated from each other. In reality, they are not that much isolated, but let us think that they are completely isolated. We can access them by clicking on them. I clicked on it. It, it is brought to the front and the content of it is this image. This image is the full resolution image, as you can see over here in the address bar this image has an address this is the address of the of this page with the image in it and this is the image that 
I was interested in. Now, if I want to save the image, the easiest way to save the image for now, for the beginners, is to move the mouse over the image wherever your mouse is. If your mouse is here, if your mouse is up, up here, just move it, bring it over the image. And once the mouse is over the image, you can right click again, the, the famous right click. You can right click on the image. As soon as you do that, you will be given a new set of options. So the context menu pops up. And in the context menu, there are different items this time. These items are related to what you can do with the image. The one that I'm interested in at this moment is to save my image. So this big image. I would like to have this image on my computer. Maybe I would like to use it as my desktop um, background later. Or maybe I would like to send it to my sister. So what I'm going to do is to save it first. By saving an image, what I'm doing is I'm downloading this image from the internet to my computer. And in this context menu, you can see the items that are um, lined from the top to the bottom. The one, the third one from the top says save image as. When I click on that, the computer allows me to pick up a place where I would like to save my image in. In here, there are so many different places I can pick. One of them, oh, I don't know, there are so many places I can save this image at. Let me go to pictures. Oh, this is me when I was very little. In pictures, I don't have many um, images, only a few. But this one I would like to, to be saved in this folder, which is called pictures. I can change the name and give this image a new name in this section. If I click on this section, uh, the, whatever it is inside the, 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 this area, this box would be selected. So I can change it, I can delete it, I can call it a different thing. Uh, at this moment it is called dreams. And that um, .jpg that comes after dreams, that is indicating that what kind of object this is, which is an image. So the image, it, it tells me that this, this is an image and the kind of image is a J, JPEG image. There are so many different kinds of images, different companies and different organizations, even different people created different standards to save images. This is one of them. So the name is already dreamed. Um, I'm not sure if I want to change it, but for the sake of this tutorial and learning, I would like to change it, change, change it this time. I'm going to call it tree in a dream. All right. As you can see, the extension, that, that part that I was saying .jpg is gone right now. I can leave it out, I can um, ignore, ignore it or I can type it again. But in, in, in our, our case, it is not necessary because as you can see, the line below the, this name, this file name, says save as type which is the type of this object that is being saved. Uh, it is already JPG. Most probably I won't be able even to change it to anything else. So as soon as I save it, it automatically saves this image as a JPG. So I don't need to worry about that dot um, JPG that used to be there and now it is not, now it is gone. I'm happy with the name. I'm happy with the place I would like to save my image in. And everything is nice and ready to go. So I click on save. And the image is saved. How can I access the image that was already saved? Or anything that I downloaded?
how can I do it? Uh, Firefox has a very neat feature, very clean and very beautiful feature. I'm sure it's very similar stuff are available in other browsers as well. You can access what you just downloaded, what you what you just saved by bringing your mouse up here and clicking on this icon, this arrow, this down pointing arrow. When you click on that arrow, a menu will open and it shows you the list of the things that you downloaded. We have downloaded only one thing, which was this image. We renamed it. So in this list, I only see one item. However, if there are more items, I will see more in this list. If I want to go directly to this image, I don't want to browse my, my computer, go to the library or go to my documents, go to my pictures and find this image that I saved. I want to directly go there without all these steps, taking all those steps. I can do that in Firefox by clicking on this little icon, this round shape here with the image of a folder. When I bring my mouse over this image, the um, name of the image appears underneath. It says open containing folder. That means when I click on that, that icon, the folder in which I save the image will open. I'm going to click on that. So this is the folder that I was talking about. And this is the image. I double click on this and it opens up. I can see it in, in its full resolution, full glory. I'm not sure if it is the, uh, it's 100% zoom. Oh, now it is 100% and it looks very beautiful. All right. So you learned right now how to search for an image and how to save it. Let's do it again. Look what I'm doing. I'm closing these tabs, opening a new tab, and the new tab is empty. I would like to search for the image of um, a book. Uh, the first step is to go to Google Images. Google Images. I do have it here already. Google Images, as you can see. I bookmarked this thing. I would tell you later how to do the bookmarking. But let's say I don't have the bookmarks here. I'm going to search for it. I'm going to go to google.com, click on the address bar, type google.com, press enter. I go to Google. Then I see this images, the link. Click on that, go to Google Images, then I start typing in this search box for books and press enter. As soon as I do it, the images will come up. I can scroll down and pick up the one I prefer. Um, which one do I like better? Books. I like this one. Or maybe this one. Um, both of them are very nice. Click on that. I get a preview. I would like to get the maximum resolution of the image. So I bring my mouse over the view image. Right click on it. Select the first item. Means move my mouse over the first item. Click on it. And the image is opened in a new tab. I click on the new tab. And there we go. This is my image. This is the image I searched for and, and the image I opened. This is the highest resolution of that particular image. Notice that this is also the address of this image, where this image exists on the internet. This is where it is on the internet. I would like to save this image. How can I do that? Bring my mouse over the image, right click, the context menu appears. Select the item that says save image as and then 
tell the computer where I want my image to be saved. In this case, there are different places I can browse to and save my comp uh, I would like to save it in that folder, but already it is on pictures. I don't want to, to pick any different place. So I leave it there. But the names I would like the name for, for this I would like to change. I would like to call it color for books and the type is already set here I can't change it and I'm done I can click on save and the image is saved I would like to access the image directly without taking all the steps to go into my documents go to the images or pictures and then find it I don't want to do all those steps I want to very quickly open the folder where the image is so I bring my mouse over this arrow up here click on it now I can see two items in it one the previous image I saved the second one is the new image I saved again I can click on this little round shape icon here and that takes me right to the place where I saved my image and here is my image This is how you search for images on Google. I hope you liked it. I invite you to watch other tutorials in case you are beginning to learn about computer. In other tutorials, I will talk more about searching for images and um, will tell you a few more um, details how to search for different sizes of images and and do more more detailed detailed searches on Google. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.